What's up, what's up, what's up, the Dom Doms? Good morning to you all. Good morning, good morning. Listen, first I want to say thank you for 2K subscribers here on the channel. Thank you so much for the love and the support. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And follow me on all of my social media platforms. Join my Patreon. Join YouTube. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can be a cash app at Chef Don Don 2 or via Venmo at Chef Don Don 2. We got some tea to get into. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Looks like gospel artist Ernest Pugh has put out some things about Miss Sixty Houston that weren't true and the claps backs have been real, honey. But let's get into the tea of it all. Introduction always give me child. It always give me. But anyway, y'all. So I wanted to get into this quick tea that we have to get into. All right. So on this here thumbnail, I have gospel artist Ernest Pugh. If you don't know who he is, he is a well-known gospel artist. Um, Ernest Pugh decided to take to social media um, on his Facebook yesterday and state, "Rest in peace to Mrs. Houston." You see that he has 446 comments, 683 shares, and 2.1k reactions to this actual post, right? And it had only been posted 27 minutes. Well, it didn't seem like Ernest Pugh did his research to check out and see if Miss Sissy Houston was doing well. Not sure who may have told him this information, but it looks like Miss Pat Houston had to also take to Instagram and let everyone know that this is not true about Sissy Houston. Also, it looks like Miss Kim Burrell let everyone know, fortunately, this is not the truth. Please respect her life as she continues to live. She's home. Thank you all. Listen, again, I don't know who he got this information from, but one thing I do want to say here is Ernest Pugh did delete the the post and he did issue an apology however after he issued the apology he decided to continue to um go on facebook in the comments reading people down in his words because of something that he put out that was not true right so here's what someone had to say in the comments let me get this right you post something that was obviously not true people come at you because it wasn't your place to post then you delete the post. Apologize and have the audacity to be ready to come at people because they can coming for you about, about it. Earth is a very weird place. Child, but it didn't end there. It didn't end there. This is why I say make sure you do some research before you put something out like that. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But look, I'm pretty sure on this thumbnail you wonder why I have Auntie Dion Warwick up here, honey. Well, Auntie has some things to say about gospel artist Ernest Pugh. She says, my Aunt Sissy is very much alive. This Ernest Pugh needs to get a life and stay out of other people's lives. Listen, honey, a quick clear, and y'all know Lady Dionne Warwick does not mind getting on Twitter to clear the girls, okay? She does not mind getting on Twitter to clear the girls. But I wanted to just say this. Let's keep uh, Sissy Houston in our prayers just for being Sissy Houston. Not because there's anything going on or anything of that sort. But stuff like this, I don't really care for. You know what I mean? Like, we have to fact check before putting out something out like this. That could... It, it, it's just not good. It's not good at all. Okay? And that's another false narrative that we definitely need to kill. If you don't know who Sissy Houston is, it is the mother of the late, great, beautiful Whitney Houston. So again, I want to send love to Sissy Houston. Um, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comments. Um, again, for me, 
earnest, we got to fact check. And then don't be trying to read people in the comments because they're getting you together about something that you put out that you should not have put out. Like, it's just plain and simple. Wait for the family to release a statement and then put the information out after that. But you should never be the first to want to put out information about someone's passing without verifying, number one, or without getting or receiving a message from the family. I think it's it's about respect. Mm-hmm. Here, he was disrespectful and he's disrespecting people for letting him know that you know it was not cool and listen we all make mistakes but it's what you do after you've made that mistake and him trying to read people it it ain't it it ain't it it's it's not it like you need to humble yourself in this particular situation so again y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below on Ernest Pugh's post and delete without getting real facts to fact check and make sure that Sissy Houston was still with us. Well, you see what Auntie Dion Worry had to say. Again, y'all let me know what you have to say down in the comment section below. Again, thank you for the 2K. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.